Hi, welcome to AI Late to Class. I've got another long length video generator to talk about, but this one's different. This is multi-shot. So in your prompt, you can talk about the next camera shot you want, whether it's the side of a person or from behind or focusing in on a hand, and it will generate all those different shots. And the quality is absolutely amazing. I think it's better than one 2.2. If you have a person that goes out of shot and then you're focused in on another object and you come back to that original person, they are exactly the same. There is no differences in this is a text to video so far. I'm going to go through some samples and the workflow to show how I got this going on low VRAM, so stick around. Here we are on the Holosyn GitHub page. Look at these examples here. Got this woman standing on the hill. There's a side face profile. Then the close-up, you can tell that's the same person. And she's picking up something in her hand. And it's back to her. Great memory. It can remember exactly what she looks like. Let's have a look at another one. Now a ghost appears. This is incredible. You can tell it's the same person that was the ghost. Click this plus button. And it gives you the prompt. This is the best way you can find out how to design prompts for this model. Global caption, they've all got this. A scene is a magical encounter in a misty ancient Celtic ruin. Character one is a modern day historian. Character two is an ancient Celtic queen. Come down here, this is the more important bit. This scene contains five shots per shot caption. Medium shot of character one, carefully touching a moss-covered stand alone. The look of academic interest on her face. Shot cut close up on her face. So you can see how it's doing all of these five shots explained here. This is the first time open source video generators have had anything like this, where it just goes from shot to shot, keeps everything exactly as it should be. Let's just have a look at some of these other samples here. Here's some comparisons to the commercial models. And this one is looking really good. In the text to video model, there's also some built in recreation of classic films that you can adjust. I haven't got a workflow for this yet, but there's first frame, last frame, as you can see with this on here, and the last frame. And that's your video you got. Not only is it generating lots of shots per prompt, it's actually very accurate in the camera angles that you're asking it to do, probably better than I've ever seen any other WAN generator do. One minute generations with multiple shots, so this is really becoming cinematic for AI generation. This last group of samples are probably some of the best. I actually came down here and grabbed this cowboy one for the start. I only did a 10 second generation, but it came out pretty good. If you've used one 2.1 or 2.2 before, you just need a couple models. I've picked this high noise Q40 and low noise Q40. You can choose whichever one suit you based on your VRAM. Put them in your diffusion models folder. Load those two models in here, high noise here, low noise here. If you've downloaded the FP8s, I'll put these here and you can just unclick those and plug those ones up. Now the next model we need is this Light X2V LoRa. This is a text to video LoRa. I'll have this linked in the comments, but this is a WAN 2.1 Light X2V, not a WAN 2.2. It's the same LoRa in both. If you're new to ConfUI, this is where you select your VAE, and this is where you select your text encoder. Note on this one, my text encoder FP8 is the scaled safe tensor. In our prompt window, it's the same style as the prompt I showed you before with the global caption, talking about the shortcut and the characters. So go back and look at that website, copy and paste them, change them to what you want them to be. Over here we've got the resolution of the video. I'm just doing the normal 832 by 480 and this is the length of frame so I've gone 161. It has its own context window so it's got its own sliding window built in so you don't need to worry about that. So the Light X2V LoRa I showed you is an 8 step LoRa. 
I tried the four step Laura and it came out really bad so I'm sticking with these eight step Lauras. So I tried a five second generation with multi shot to see what that would come out with and this has come out with a very smooth change of shot so I really like that better than a normal one 2.2 generation would do. I tried one of the other prompts from the website and I thought it might do the change every five second chunk but no it changes it randomly and you can't see the joins on the longer shots so it's really doing an amazing job. There is reward lures in this workflow. I had them turned off just to get it going but I'll have links to those in the comments. I also put these in which is just a memory manager instead of block swap. And because I've got 16 gig of RAM I put those on 14 but you can play with those if you're having trouble running out of memory. I found this a bit slower than 1, 2.1 or 2.2 but it's worth it because of the multi shot. This is changing everything. Anyway, like, subscribe, watch my other videos and we'll see you in the next one.